Hey everybody, welcome back to another practice. Today's practice is going to be hopefully a little quicker, good practice for when you want kind of a more vigorous yoga power workout, but you maybe don't have that full hour of time. So you guys know I love the meditation part and I love the breathing part, but sometimes you just don't have time for all of that. So we will start with a little bit of getting into your breath, um, but then we're just going to get right to it and um, hopefully you'll get a great workout in a shorter amount of time. So let's get started. Take a seat at the front of your mat. Maybe pull the flesh back from your sitting bones. Ground your sitting bones down and then grow tall out of your spine, out of your hips. Slow your eyes closed. Let your shoulders relax. Hands rest comfortably on your knees or your thighs, fingertips relaxed. And start to deepen your breathing. Inhaling into your belly and then feeling your chest rise. And then on your exhale, chest falls and belly pulls all the way back towards your spine. As you start to notice thoughts coming into your head, push them out. Use this time to just focus on the breath coming in and out of your body. And even though I'm not going to be doing total body or total meditative practice, I still enjoy a moment where you set an intention for your practice. And your intention can be anything. And then when you're done doing that, inhale, sweep your arms up overhead, palms touch and pull your hands down in front of your heart to prayer. Float your eyes open, rock up over your hands and knees to tabletop position, fingers spread wide, hands under shoulders, knees under hips, and move through cat cow on your own breath, inhaling as you dip your belly down towards the floor, exhaling as you round your spine, to a neutral position in your spine and then we're going to do a few bird dogs reaching your right leg back left arm reaches forward and then tuck it down touch your knee to your elbow underneath you inhale extend exhale knee and elbow touch inhale extend exhale knee and elbow touch inhale extend exhale knee and elbow touch Inhale, one more time, exhale, knee and elbow touch, and then set the right knee down, left hand down, switching sides. Inhale, right arm up, left foot back, exhale, knee and elbow. Inhale, exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Last time, exhale, knee to elbow. Set that left knee down, right hand down. Tuck your toes, send your hips high, downward facing dog. Take a moment, pedal out your feet. Pedal out those, feeling those calves stretching, maybe swiveling your hips back and forth. 
getting all those tense areas back and back, getting all those tense areas out, and then find stillness in your down dog. Tailbone is high, lower ribs knitting in towards your belly. Rotating those inner elbow creases to the front of your mat. Shoulder blades relax. Head and neck relax. You should be able to nod and shake your head freely. Pressing your heels down towards the floor, but if they do not meet the floor, that is okay. Keeping a soft bend in your knees. Inhale, come up on your tippy toes, look between your palms, and then walk your feet up to the front of your mat slowly. Hips, feet or hips with distance apart. Inhale to a flat back, hands to shins, shoulder blades squeeze together. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, one more time, flat back, hands to shins. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep it up, root to rise, come all the way up to standing. Arms are going to reach. Palms meet in front of your heart. Inhale, sweep the arms down and back up overhead. And then swan dive over the legs, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Root to rise, inhale, come all the way back up to standing. Arms meet overhead. Palms come and meet in front of the heart. Exhale. Inhale, arms come down and sweep out and up overhead. Exhale, swan dive over your legs, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. One more time, roll it all the way up to standing. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Palms meet in front of the heart. Exhale. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, swan dive over the legs, forward fold. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, plant your palms, step your right foot back, and then your left foot back to meet it in plank, and lower all the way down to your belly. Untuck your toes, inhale, squeezing your elbows in towards each other. Press your chest up, baby cobra. Exhale down. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale down. One more time. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, press your hips up. Come back onto your knees. Walk your hands about a palm length forward and press your chest down to the floor for puppy pose. Hips stay lifted. And then pull your hands back to that same spot they were before. Tuck your toes, send your hips high, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg is going to rise. Keep your hips square for a breath. And then exhale, open your hip, flex your foot, bring your heel towards your butt, keeping those shoulders square. Opening that front hip. And then square your hips back off, inhale. Exhale, right knee come into your chest. Set the foot between your palms. Drop down to your left knee. Inhale, low lunge. Palms are going to meet overhead here. So you're really squeezing those biceps in towards each other. Keep pulling that right hip back in space. And exhale down to the mat. Plant that left hand inside of your right foot. And then lift your back knee. Rotate open to the right. Easy twist. Keep those inner thighs squeezing towards each other. Gazing up at your palm. At your palm. At your right hand. <laughs> exhale, right hand down. Then we're going to sweep it straight up and forward. Come up, crescent lunge. Biceps, frame the ears. Bend that front knee a lot. 
Engage your lower abdominals, lower ribs in. One more inhale here. Goal post your arms and chest rises. Maybe raise your gaze or baby back bend. And then exhale it all the way down. Step your right foot back to meet your left in plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg rises. Take an inhale here, square hips. And exhale, open your hip. Flex your foot, heel to butt, shoulder stay square. Inhale, square those hips back off. Raise that left take a leg a little higher and exhale, knee into your chest. Set the foot down between your palms. Right knee comes down, inhale, low lunge. Palms are gonna press. Feeling those shoulder blades engaging. Inner thighs squeezing together a lot. Next exhale, hands come down. Tuck your right toes, lift that back knee up, plant your right hand inside your left foot, and twist open to the left. Left hand's going to sweep down and forward, then both hands sweep up for a crescent lunge. Bend that front knee a lot. Keep that right hip moving forward in space, biceps framing your ears, lower belly in, and breathe. Take an inhale here, goal post your arms, chest up to the sky, chin up, baby back bend. And then exhale it all the way down. Step that left foot back, knee in plank, lower chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, come up on your tippy toes, look between your palms. Exhale, step or float it up to the front of your mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, palms overhead, palms meet in front of the heart. Exhale, inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, swan dive over the legs, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant the palms, float or step back to chaturanga or plank, lower. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, up on your tippy toes, look between your palms. Exhale, float or step it up to the front of your mat. Inhale, flat back, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise all the way up to standing. Ex inhale, exhale, hands in front of your heart. Exhale. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, swan dive over the legs, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, halfway lift, peek up. Exhale, plant your palms, step or float back through your vinyasa. Inhale, look between your palms. Exhale, float it up, step front to the front of your mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise all the way up. Exhale, hands come in front of your heart. Subscribe. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale. 
exhale, swan dive over the legs, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant your palms, float or step back to plank or chaturanga. Inhale up, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, drop your foot, open your hip, flex that foot. Inhale, square your hips back up. Exhale, knee to chest. Set the foot between your palms. Inhale, sweep it up. Warrior one. No, nope, not warrior one, excuse me. Crescent lunge, keep that back heel up. Hips square. Take an inhale, back bend here, goal post your arms, baby arch to your back. And then exhale, hands down to the mat. Plant that left hand inside your right, open it up to the right. Keeping that left knee lifted here, again. Just a little quick interleave. Exhale your right hand down. Step your left, right, right foot back. Lower chaturanga. Inhale, left dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, drop your foot. Open your hip. Inhale, square back your hips. Exhale, knee to chest. Set that foot between your palms and inhale it up. Crescent lunge. Inhale, go pulse your arms, little baby back bend, gaze up, chin up, and then exhale, arms back down to the floor, and move through your vinyasa. Inhale, right leg lifts to the sky, exhale, knee to chest, set the foot down between your palms. Spin that left heel down. Come up, open it up, warrior two. Gazing over that left hand, excuse me, that right hand. Right, right knee pressing out towards the pinky edge of your foot. Flip your right palm, inhale as you reach forward, then arch it back, right, left hand down, left leg, peaceful warrior. Exhale, right forearm to right thigh, extended side angle. Inhale it again, peaceful warrior, keep your legs the same. Make sure you're not pushing up out of that deep position if you can. Exhale, extended angle, side angle. One more time, inhale, peaceful warrior. Exhale, down, cartwheel your hands down. Come up onto the toes of your back foot. Inhale, flex your foot, straighten your right foot, right knee. Exhale it back down. Inhale, straighten your right knee, flex the foot. Exhale, back down. Inhale, one more time, flex your foot. Straighten that knee. Exhale, back down. Now stay here in this position. Inhale it back up, crescent lunge. Bring your hands to prayer. Exhale. Twisting from your waist first, so you're not going to hook. Maybe lean forward a little bit, but just turning from your waist, seeing where your functional range is. And then exhale down. Bring that left elbow to the outside of your right knee. Strong back leg here. Try and bring the middle of your chest to your hands. Long, beautiful spine.
Gaze down at your right toes for a moment. Shift forward onto that right, all your weight on that right foot. And then slowly and intentionally bring that left knee in, keeping that foot off the ground as long as you can. And then step your left foot down next to your right for twisted chair pose. Unwind out of that, but stay deep in your chair. Arms raise overhead. Don't change anything on your legs. You should be very deep. All of a sudden your legs are like, wait, what? <laughs> Keep a deep bend in those knees. Work those thighs. Pull that low belly in. Biceps framing the ears. And now it's same intensity. Shift all your weight into that right leg. Come up on your toes, your left foot first. Then squeeze that foot up. And then step it back to a crescent lunge. Inhale, baby back bend, goal post your arm. Exhale, down to the floor. Send that right foot back to the left. Lower chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, meet a chest. Set the foot down. Spin your back heel down and open it up. Warrior two on the right. Oh my God, on the left. I'm gonna be such a good yoga teacher one day, guys. <laughs> Check in with your alignment. Check in where you're engaging, bending that left knee a lot. Collarbones wide. Flip your left palm up and inhale, reach it forward first. And then slide that right hand down your right leg, peaceful warrior, arch it back. Exhale, left forearm to left thigh, extended side angle. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. One more time, inhale, peaceful warrior. Sweep that sky. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down, come up onto your right toes, and then inhale it up, crescent lunge. Bring your hands to heart center, exhale. First, twisting from your waist, maybe getting a little bit of a forward lean, just see where your functional range of motion is. You can go in and out of it just a few times. And then when you're ready, exhale, hook that right elbow the outside of your left knee, twisted crescent prayer, whatever it's called. Spine is long, back leg is strong. Gaze down at your left foot. Step with intention, bring that right foot up to meet it, and now you're in quick twisted chair. Stay low, keep that low belly in. Keep pressing those palms towards the center of your heart. Keeping that bend in your knees, unwind. Bring it to chair pose, deep, deep chair pose. Low belly engage. Try not to sway in your lower back. Shift your weight to that left foot. Lift that right foot up and then send it slowly and intentionally back. Crescent lunge. Inhale, go pulse the arms. <sighs> Baby back bend. Exhale, hands down. I think I forgot this the first time. Um, so we're going to 
going to straighten that left knee. Flex your foot. Inhale. Exhale it back down. Inhale. Flex that foot. Straighten your left knee. Send your hips back. Exhale back down. One more time. Flex that foot. Send your hips up. Exhale. Back down. Plant your palms. Send that left foot back. Move through your vinyasa. We're going to work a little bit differently in handstand today. Working on jumping like tuck jumps. It's a good way to kind of gauge where you are, how to get that sweet spot when you're um, upside down, finding that like point of balance. So what I want you to do is bend your knees super deeply, look between your palms, feel how when you do that, so you don't look between your palms, look straight down at your mat, keep your neck long, bend your knees almost so that they're like hovering right above the floor. Feel that, in, that compression in your lower belly. And then inhale it, stretch it back out. That's the kind of compression you're going to need upside down in a tuck. Maybe walk your feet back, I mean up, like a half a foot length. Just like we do when we're jumping to the front of the mat. We're going to do that, but you're going to pull your knee into your chest. So come up on your tippy toes, look between your palms. Press your, your chest back to your knees. And then just jump, bring your chest, your knees to your chest and land. Stretch your hips high. Come up on your tippy toes, look between your palms, press your chest to your knees, bend your knees, and then keep your knees there, bend it up, or jump it up, and then land. Keep going just like that, looking between your palms up on your heels, press your chest, then keep your knees there, and try, and just jump with that position. Keep going. Find that position where your knees are compressing against your abdominals. And then try and get in a handstand from there. We're going to do it 10 more times. Maybe you'll get a little hang time. Don't forget the breath. Inhaling when you come up on your tippy toes. Exhaling as you press your chest. And then finally getting up upside down to the end of your exhale. One thing I can tell you and I need to work on is keeping your gaze ahead of your fingertips, not right between your palms, but to get your shoulders right over your wrists, you need to be a little bit ahead. Arms burning yet. One more time. And then wherever you land, wherever you are in your number, bring it back down to child pose. Let your heart rate come down a little bit. back up when you're ready. Hands wide on your mat. Tuck your toes. Come into downward facing dog. Now we're just going to do basically that same thing, but go ahead. Come up on your tippy toes. Inhale. Exhale. 
float to the front of your mat and feel if you had any more hang time than normal. Inhale to a flat back, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, no, I don't really inhale, no. Bend your right knee, so you're trying to bring your hip, your heel towards your butt. See if that gives you any length in your left hamstring, bringing that heel in. And then give yourself a little bit of a bend in that left knee. Slowly and surely, grab onto that right knee, come all the way to standing. Give that right knee a little hug. Then let go of that right knee, arms overhead, flex your right foot hard. Keep that low belly coming in. If you want a little more, extend that right leg out. Toes are flexed, pointing straight up to the sky. Working that hip flexor. If your knee is bent, that's okay. Keep your arms up overhead. Slowly tip forward. Bend forward, warrior three. Energy shooting out the fingertips. Energy shooting out the heel. All five toes working to point straight down to the floor. And then exhale, fingertips to the floor. Standing split on your left. Keep your hips square on your standing split. Gaze at that point where your ankle and your foot meet. If you want a little more, take a hold of the back of your foot or ankle with your left hand. If you want to play with the balance a little bit more, right hand, welcome to grab the, off the left ankle as well. Set that left, right foot down, shortened um, pyramid type pose. Inhale to a flat back and then fold it over, left leg and stretch. Um, you can flex that left toe if you'd like. And then if your toes are up, set them down, plant your palms, sweep that left foot back and up. And we're just gonna do three kick switches here. Kicking, switch, now your right leg is up. Little hop, switch, left leg up. Last chance, maybe your feet meet at the top and you get a little hang time. If not, that's okay, lower down chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, up on your tippy toes, look between your palms. Exhale, float to the front of your mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Grab a hold of your right ankle, bending that left knee in towards your bum. Maybe getting a little more length in that right hamstring. And then bend that right knee and slowly start to come up to standing. Don't touch that right knee down, the left knee down. Give your left knee a little hug and towards your chest. Grow tall and then let it go. Arms come up overhead, foot is flexed. If you'd like, Extend that left leg out, really working that hip flexor, that long lever arm. Wherever you are, knee bent or straight, slowly tip it forward and extend into your warrior three. Focusing on the point of balance, left toes pointing Straight down to the floor, low belly in. One long line of energy. And then exhale, fingertips to the floor. Standing split on the right, left leg reaching high, but not at the expense of turning 
bring those hips out. If you'd like a little more balance, grabbing that right ankle with the right hand. And if you'd like a little more balance still, left hand to right ankle. Go ahead and set that left foot down. Flex that right foot for a minute. Inhale to a flat back, then exhale. Little stretch in your pyramid pose. Plant your palms and a little bit ahead of your right toes. And then sweep that right leg up and back. Our three kick switches here. Little hop, kick. Switch, little hop, then switch. Try maybe on your third when your feet come together and you get a little hang time. And when you're ready, you come down and you move through your vinyasa. Walk your hands back so they're about a third of the way back on your mat. Inhale, look between your palms. Exhale, cross your feet and jump through if you can. Setting your feet down, flex your feet, raise up your arms nice and high. Exhale, reach out and forward, grab whatever you can. When, I, when your hands land, give yourself a little pull, lengthening your spine like you're trying to pull your chest towards wherever you're pulling from my toes. Your shins, your knees, just some space in that, in that spine and then that low back. And then when you're ready, kind of melt everything out. Go ahead and bend those elbows round your back. Get a little release in that hips. And then come back up. Bring your right uh, sole of your foot to the inside of your um, left thigh. So you're in kind of, I don't know what this is called. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to actually work a little bit in a, in a more dynamic back bend. So sitting up nice and tall, you may want to scoot to the left edge of your mat so that your right knee is going to be on your mat. Inhale your arms up nice and tall. Bow forward over that left foot. You can grab it for just a second, but then you're gonna swing it out towards your right knee, keeping those arms low. Then where your, your right hand is gonna kind of land outside of your left hip, you're gonna pop up onto that right knee, lean back, gaze back at your left hand, reaching back. And then we're gonna come out of that just the opposite way. You're gonna sit that hip back down, sweep around as much as you can, just keeping those hands nice and low. Come to that right left foot and then inhale back up to a sitting. We're gonna do that again. We're gonna do it two more times. Bow forward over that left, sweep the arms around, right hand lands. Press that hip up, arch your back. Look up, feel that in your hip flexor. Heart opener, exhale back down, sweep the arms to the left, and sit back up nice and tall. Last time, bow forward over that left leg, sweep the arms around, right palm lands, open it up, look back at your palm, opening that hip flexor, and then sit back down, sweep it around one more time. Go ahead and switch sides, so lengthen your right leg out. Scoot to the edge of your right, the right edge of your mat. Left um, sole to the inside of your right thigh. Inhale, arms up, sitting nice and tall. Exhale, bow forward. You already know where you're going, so start that sweeping motion to the left. Plant that left hand, open it up, press that hip. Look back at your palm. 
and then set that right left hip back down and sweep it back to the right, sitting up. Two more times, bow forward, sweep it around, plant that left hand, open the hip, open the chest, back bend. Back down you go, sweeping it over, come back up. Nice dynamic back bend practice today. Last time, fold over the right, sweep it over, plant that left hand, open up. And then come on out of it. Sweep your back to the left, right. Come back up nice and tall. Both feet come forward. Plant your heels firmly down on the ground. Inhale, arms up towards the sky. And then find that little bit of a pelvic tilt, posterior tilt, C curve of your back. Keep your heels dug in and slowly, slowly, slowly make your way down to your back. As slow as you can. Head is the last thing to land. And then give yourself a big stretch, arms reach out, feet flexed or pointed, just stretching all that energy out through your body. Bring your knees up to your chest, maybe roll side to side. And then find yourself in stillness with your knees hugged into your chest. Reach your arms out like wings. Drop your knees over to the left. Gaze over towards your right hand. And then bring your head back to center. Pull your knees into your chest. And then knees drop over to the right, gazing over to your left. Turn your head all the way back to look at your right palm and then sweep your left palm up and over to meet your right. Make a pillow with your right bicep staying on your right side for just a moment. And then when you're ready, press yourself up to your seated position. Eyes closed. Find length in your spine. Scan your body, feel if you feel any differently. Remember your intention. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead one last time. Palms meet in front of the heart. Take every gift and benefit for yourself, for your community, for your family, for your energy that you gain from this short practice and keep it with you all day and throughout as long as you need this energy. Namaste.